right, good morning everyone. Welcome to episode 107 of Marathon Mondays with Mal. Here we are at the world headquarters in Coburg, Oregon, and I wanna talk to you about something this morning. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to Marathon, I want you to go to Facebook, and I want you to like the page Marathon Mondays with Mal. We've got a lot more content coming to that location. So go and, and search Marathon Mondays with Mal. I know Todd's working with the camera right now. If you can see me moving, I'm moving. Go to Marathon Mondays with Mal on Facebook. Like that page. We're going to throw a lot more content out at you. We're going to start uh, a, a little three-part series today on the Prevo chassis. We've done a lot of content over the 107 episodes when it comes to the Prevo chassis. That's why there's a shell behind me. But I want to talk in depth about the importance of it. There's a lot of um, misunderstanding when it comes to the Prevo chassis. Uh, it, is, it is an amazing, um, do you, you guys got it figured out? Is, yeah, it's, yeah. What's going on over Are there? Are we distracting you? Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Am I going like this? Our it's bad. all right. We're live. We just had a this shift here in the this is part of the show. Am I in focus? Yeah. Can you hear me? Anyway, everybody, here's the deal. Here's what I want you to do. Whether you're watching it live right now or you're watching it recorded on Facebook or YouTube, throw some comments out there. Here's the comment I'm looking for. I want to know what you think are the three top reasons the Prevo chassis is superior. Throw those out there in comments, whether it be on live on Facebook right now or three weeks from now on YouTube. Throw those comments out there. Let me know what you, the viewer, thinks are the th top three reasons why the Prevo chassis is superior. We're gonna get in depth over a three-part series Today is kind of a teaser, or at least an intro into it. We're going to spend some time with Marathon's lead engineer, Jay Graham. He's actually headed up to Prevo in Quebec, Canada, uh, I think Tuesday or Wednesday of this week. And Jay doesn't know it yet, but we're gonna grab him when he gets back from Prevo and talk to him about the Prevo chassis, what he learned up in Quebec. The third thing we're gonna do is we are gonna grab um, one of the most experienced West Coast Marathon owners, throw him into the coach, and we are going to uh, get, put him in the hot seat and talk to him about why the Prevo chassis is superior. Um, you know, we, some things I was talking to that owner about this morning. Uh, I had this idea over the weekend, let's talk about the Prevo chassis. So I talked to that Marathon owner this morning uh, you know, why we, we want to do this series. The commercial grade of the Prevo chassis, you know, the, a lot of the, the chassis that are out there in the, in the industry, he pointed out to me, they stop at the engine compartment. This behind me, this chassis is completely commercial grade. Um, so it doesn't just stop at the engine compartment. It runs all the way through. Uh, it is completely superior to all other chassis. Uh, one thing I am going to show you today are the floor plans. This is the new floor plan brochure the Marathon marketing team, uh, Mickey Markovich and Pete Sutton put together along with uh, Sarah and Adam in our marketing team. This is a great brochure. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this um, probably not today. I'm going to highlight it today and show it to you, but we're going to really look at it in the coming episodes because the floor plan... Um, the floor plan brochure really shows how versatile the Prevo chassis can be. Um, let's walk inside because I want to talk a little bit about some things that we're going to talk about over the next couple of episodes when we talk about the Prevo chassis. So let's go in here. Um, hope everyone had a good weekend. Sorry for the long intro, but I want to set us all up for, um, I want to set us all up for, you know, really success. And if you, if you turn around and look, there's a lot of production going on, even though I think we're coming right up against break time. All right, let's head on inside. Before we head inside, you can see right down here, 
underneath the base of an H3. This is an H3 double slide that the chassis just got here. There are some, some things that we're going to get into. Uh, you know, the superior handling of a marathon build in the Prevo chassis. Something that I'm learning about is the Norgren valves and the airbag system and how the airbag system complements this chassis and how it works together. And that's one thing we're really going to touch on uh, when we talk about the importance of the Prevo chassis because I want to make sure that everyone out there that watches Marathon Mondays has no gray area in why Marathon builds on this chassis and why people who are in the know in the industry say, including myself, say this is the best chassis ever created for a luxury RV. And we're going to get in depth on it. Let's walk inside. I'm going to grab this right here from Todd. We're going to walk in. It's a little dark in here because this chassis just got here and they're right in the middle of shell prep, but it wouldn't be a Prevo chassis episode without getting in the dark of a, of a shell that just showed up. So apologies for the, the poor lighting. Is that, is that, we don't have the main light? Is the main light like, a no, goner? I'm well, let's, sure let's turn around and look at the cockpit, Todd. I'll just tell you right now, let's, let's make sure that you comment on what are the three things that you think the Prevo chassis, uh, what's so unique about it, what's so special, why does Marathon use the Prevo chassis? Because what we're going to do, <clears throat> for the lack of a better term, is debunk all of the conversation and really get down to the brass tacks of why we use this chassis. It's absolutely an amazing engineered um, vehicle and along with Marathon's build and Marathon's floor plans, which there's so many floor plans, there's so many different ways to go. Uh, we just saw Coach 1296. You've seen 1296. There are, um, look at that, look at the, the floor plan in that with the super bath in the back. Look at Coach 1291. 1291 with the, uh, it's an X3, but it's got the rear bath. Things that have never been done, we saw that uh, real heavily on Coach 1291, and if you haven't seen those, go back through the Marathon Mondays catalog, and really, we're gonna we're gonna get in depth on it. Um, so, please go to Marathon Mondays with Mal on Facebook. Look it up; it's separate from Marathon Coach, and like that because we're gonna throw extra content at you, little videos, little photos, and little little ideas to you, the viewer. So if you uh, like that page, you'll be able to see it. Uh, in addition, if you haven't liked the Marathon page by now, you should. Uh, we've got locations in Florida, Texas, and here at the Mothership, uh, where we build all these beautiful coaches and have for over 30 years here in Coburg, Oregon. So uh, really want to get, get you, the viewer, active on our social media. Um, we have a lot of different social media uh, entries from Instagram, uh, gosh, I think we even have a, um, Twitter. well, we know we have Twitter. Pinterest? We, yeah, Pinterest. Uh, you know, to be the most active, Marathon is heavy on Facebook. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of our owners are on Facebook. So basically, I'm excited about this three-part series. That doesn't mean we're going to neglect coaches like 1302. We're going to be viewing 1302. It's got about... It's got about a month left, maybe a little bit less in its build. We saw 1299. Uh, 1299 was just delivered to the owners uh, down in Florida with Dave Bash. So we're going to check back in on 1299. Let's head back outside because I know the lighting is just bad in here. Well, we're dropping everything today. It, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be live without. Todd dropping his glasses, Mickey dropping a phone. I got the camera, so let's, where should we go? Should we go down here? Let's walk this way. I'm gonna show you. Nissan in Jerusalem, how are you? Reginald Owens, our good friend down in Las Vegas.
Carl Connor, thank you so much for showing up and making those comments. These are all comments we're going to talk about in the upcoming shows. There's the Volvo engine of the Prevo chassis. I'm going to pass this on back to Todd here. It's like the Muppet show around here today, huh? <laughs> kind of is. Now here's the deal. If I fall, if I, if I fall, then it'll, it'll look like all of this was planned. So I'm going to try and stay on my feet today. Watch check. Don't want to do too long. So that's what we're doing. I'm really excited about it. So we are going to tap into um, arguably the best engineer on luxury RVs. He would never tell you that. He's a great person. For those of you who have worked with Jay Graham, uh, he's an amazing engineer. He's been with Marathon 30 years. I think he's just approaching 30 years. Uh, <clears throat> we've had him on Marathon Mondays uh, over the last um, year. So we're going to tap into Jay Graham's expertise, and we're also going to hit him up for what he learned at Prevo. Like I mentioned earlier in the show, he's headed there uh, this week. Then we're going to uh, discuss in depth uh, the Prevo chassis with someone who's experienced. Now, there's a lot of guys like myself that know about the Prevo chassis, and we read the brochure, and that's great because that is facts. But here's the deal. I want to tap into someone who gets behind the wheel and sleeps in the bedroom. That is why a third part of this is going to be a Prevo owner, one of the more experienced marathon owners on the West Coast. We are going to get his thoughts on why the Prevo chassis is superior uh, along with yours. So don't forget to comment. I think that's about it for today's show. I'm trying to think of something I can drop or something I can fall over on since we've had a lot of fun with that today. Uh, big thanks to everybody for, for watching, for commenting. Now here's the deal. If you want to add more comments, malw at marathoncoach.com, that's my email. Um, I'm really excited about this three-part series that's gonna happen over the next month, uh, maybe month and a half. It all depends on how long it takes us to get these three parts down. Uh, because we don't want to neglect what else is happening out there in Marathon. As you can see, we're building a lot of coaches right now, and a lot of coaches are being sold, and that's really cool. Um, there's a coach in audit right now, and if you turn back around this way, Todd, there's three coaches there. There's an X3. That guy's actually for sale. That's a designer choice. So if you're looking for a brand new 2020 X3, it's right behind me and ready for you. And on the other side of the production floor, there's two other new coaches. A lot of coaches being built. You know what that means? That means recess is over and that means it's coffee time. Look, on Facebook, search Marathon Mondays with Mal. Go to that page and like it. Uh, we're going to try and throw a lot more content on that page so that we can have more of a conversation with you guys, the viewer. Don't forget, give me your three reasons why the Prevo chassis is the best chassis to build on. Um, and we're gonna talk about it. Some of this is gonna be opinion, some of this is gonna be fact, but it's all gonna be good content. Don't forget to be yourself and do good things. I strive for that every day. I was up all night, there's a mouse in my kitchen, you guys, I gotta catch it. Anyway, I'm out of here, go get your coffee. Take care. That's a true story. There's a mouse in my kitchen. Can you believe that?